Okay, what I'm going to do is simulate a left turn to final approach from base leg and do it in a way that uh, is conducive to the classic stall spin accident that uh, we hear so much about. And one of the things to remember is when a pilot is making a left turn to base, what uh, he's, he or she's typically doing is carrying a little bit of power. And if you do that, you dispose the airplane to yaw slightly to the left because of slipstream and P factor. And of course, if you're going to overshoot final approach and you end up, let's say, applying a little left rudder to keep the nose or to align the nose with the runway while you're using right aileron in order to keep the bank from increasing, what you're doing is you're skidding the airplane. And that is a very conducive condition to have the airplane yaw. Uh, inside the turn and the skid and therefore roll uh, and stall and then spin after that. So let's set this up here. Let's slow the airplane down a little bit. There's nobody below us so I think we're in good shape here. We'll slow the airplane down and we're going to uh, demonstrate this out of a classic turn to final situation. I, I won't use any flaps in this situation which just makes it a little bit cleaner. And um, it's going to be pretty dramatic. These things are always kind of interesting to, uh, to experience if you've never experienced it before. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. I'm just going to get real slow. Typical final approach speed. We think we're ready to go here. All right. going to leave a little bit of power on. And then I'm going to start my turn. I'll be out there. A little bit of left rudder. And... Let's just start that turn, and here we go. And watch what happens here. And big surprise, power back. The other one's neutral. Rudder to stop. The rotation, and there we go. So nice. That never gets old. Now, that is what happens when you make a skidding turn on the final approach. And as you can see, if you're caught unaware, if you're not familiar with stalls and spins, it's a uh, spin entries, of course. It can be pretty dramatic for someone, and if you're, if you're close to the ground, recovery is uh, almost impossible. Now, watch what happens when I try this out of a turn to the right. Let me get back up to altitude here. And what's going to happen is, keep in mind that when I was doing this to the left, the horizontal component of lift is pulling me to the left. In other words, that's why I'm turning to the left. And the left wing is going back because I'm gnawing the nose inside the turn. And as a result, the left wing stalls, the airplane rolls left, and the horizontal component lift is pulling the airplane to the left. So you have two things working in the same direction. Now watch what happens when I try this to the right. And as I'm doing this to the right, let me slow the airplane down here, you'll see that as I roll into the turn, uh, I'm, even if I have power on, which pilots typically do as they're turning on final approach, it's going to yaw the nose to the left outside the turn while my airplane's banking to the right. So let's see what happens here. Set it up. And we're all clear. Okay. A little bit of right rudder and a little left let Dale on a little bit more power here. Actually do that, and let's see what happens here. And look at that. There's the stall. Isn't that something? That's a stall to the right. Same conditions that I had on the left turn, but in this instance, the airplane was actually slipping to the inside of the turn. In other words, the, the wing that was going to stall was the left wing, but the airplane's angle of bank was pulling me to the right, so those two forces are acting opposite each other. Pretty interesting, right? So, stalling out of a slip is actually a much more docile maneuver, as a general rule, than stalling out of a skid. Of course, you can still you can still uh, spin the airplane by stalling out of a slip. Uh, that, that can happen. It's just a little less likely. That part of me here, there's a lot of traffic out here, so I want to make sure I don't bump into anybody. I'm sure they don't want me to bump into them. All right. 